Hi guys, it's Lada from Procoblog. In this short tutorial we will display posts dynamically in a price list widget. Make sure Jet Elements and Jet Engine are installed and activated, and you are good to go. But before, please subscribe and click the notification bell to help grow our channel. First of all, we need to create custom query that we'll use in a price list widget to make it work dynamically. Proceed to Jet Engine, Query Builder. Press Add New button at the top. If you want any additional information before creating this query, feel free to press the following button. If you are good, let's create this one. Type the name of your query. Since we are creating it for posts, I will leave post query here. In post type, I set services. You need to set the name of your CPT and press Add Query. Next, we are going to add a new page. Go to Pages, Add New, type the title and publish it. Then press Edit with Elementor button. I add a heading element to display the name of the page on the front end and style it a bit, but it's optional. If you feel like you can do it, if not, no problem really. Then I search for price list widget. Drag and drop it onto the page. Leave only one tab in list items, remove the rest. You may wonder why, if you want to add more than one element. Since we are building dynamic content, the widget will pull as many posts as your custom query define. Let's dive deeper into it. We enable use Jet Engine Query toggle. Select the query we have created. As you see on the right, now we have four items, since I created four posts in the CPT services. For now, all the posts have the same name and the same content, because there is a static data here in the settings. Let's correct it. We will use dynamic text to pull the data. That's how it works. In the title field, I press dynamic tag icon and choose Current Object Field. We use this tag to pull the default post title for the field we set title. The titles changed in the widget on the right, as you can see. In the price, I will set custom field Price. I have such a field in my CPT. We do the same for the description. And set an image. It's a post thumbnail in my case. I will style the elements a bit. Save the data and let's have a look at the front end. Go to the dashboard, all pages, and press view under the created page. We can see four posts. Each of them has its name, price, and thumbnail, which means the dynamic data was pulled correctly. Now I want to edit this page to show you one more example. I change the query for all products. It's a query I created earlier for WooCommerce products. Let's change the data in the item tab. In the title, we need to set the macro WooCommerce product field and set the default product title field. Same for the price and description. You see in the widget that services changed for the products already. I will also set product image. And update the page. Let's check it on the front end.
here it is. We see the products now. You can use pricing list widget with any post type. You just need to change the query and set the corresponding fields. And that's it. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't do it yet. See you guys. Cheers.